Cash Wells, which is a is in Langdon Hills County Park, near Bedford and Essex, has stood derelict and abandoned since 1924. This is the British, haunted British landscape, said to be plagued by goodish spirits that drive people to tears and want make them want to kill. Cashwell is a Langdon Hills country park near Bazard and Essex. It's said to have been haunted by spectres since 1924. It's stood derelict and abandoned for decades, which, has, which have followed, and now ghost hunters believe the spooks are rife here. And this is a poem based on a, a, a ghost hunter um, we put Jenny's doing a, a, a hunt, ghost hunt with Essex Ghost Hunters, a special tour. Just minutes into the walk, we came to a gate. When we do our investigations, our first stop is at these gates, Russell explained. It's right on the joining path that make, takes you into the forest three or four different ways. There are about three or four different stories, depending on which way you face. There is a gentleman in uniform, he's law-abiding, and men tend to pick up more on this gentleman, and you hear him quite clearly shifting and moving. You stand and watch out for a couple t- times. Guests have asked who's walking down the path. When you go inside, there's two ladies, one on each side, with two completely different stories. Now that that's we're talking, I know that one, our, one lady has joined us. The ghost hunter claimed, he could sense one of the spirits. Some of this group have been coming to Cashwell for almost 15 years, but they still have the same spirits every time they return. My arms come goose above me, Russell added. We all got an aura, which is scientifically proven. We've got a two-inch energy bubble that surrounds us all the time. When the spirits come close, they interact with that bubble, and something has moved our aura and is wobbling. The two energies pull apart, and that's what causes the vibration. As they get, we get closer, coaches catches well. Russell explained that the group has seen the sense of spirits of twenty children. A group believes they came down from an old centurion at the top of the hill. We get our guests to stand there, and the children will come and hold their hands. Russell said, "We get all the, get them to pull on the guest's finger. Two of the boys, one or." One well, for a girl, and you get that sense, physical sensation, as striking or sparring as it is. The well isn't the easiest thing to spot. It's tucked away in a corner of the woods, surrounded by towering trees and covered in under overgrowth. As Russell put it, you can walk straight past it. We walk, we have spirit guides, a guide from the other side that helps you in everyday life, he said. On the first visit, here we were walking around the outside, thinking we're never going to find this place. We heard, we all heard, was turn left. Simon, who runs the company, asked if he heard it. There was a gap in the forest, and we turned on, into it. Through the gap, the, through the gap was the well. It was a sorry sight, left to degrade and waste away. Much of the stone had been stripped back, leaving the walls bar- barren and bare. While it maintains its history, it's m- now merely a shadow of its former glory. Russell added, every time we come here, it's been de- 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 deteriorating. It's such a sad state of affairs. We come here the first time, our mouths dropped. It's a shame you see how much it's deteriorated. Look how much it's lost in a year. We cleared out the whole, well of printers and fax machines before. Why should you carry it? Why would you carry these things down here? Built in the 1900s, the well was the fifth of its kind in the local area. The man behind the build, Sir Edward Cash, attempted to source local water renowned for its high mineral content and potential health benefits. He went on the yield bottle and sell water to local chemists and stores, for his company went under just a few years later. He died in 1931, but according to the group, his spirit remains at the site. Miss Cash doesn't like me 
down here tonight, there tonight. He doesn't like me. I don't particularly like him. Russell explained. There's no love lost between us. There's no, this is not well number five. The sarium flooded, and all the dirty water to have flowed down the hill and flooded as well. This is why Miss Catch doesn't like me, because that's what I called, what I call his water. But he never stopped selling his water. He continued bottling it, and suddenly he called it the best clear water in Essex because it gave everyone upset stomachs. In Essex, because it gave everyone upset stomachs, made them feel sick. We always tried to try to get our hands on the bottle, but only one we know of. You can see where the bottling area used to be because you see all the glass. We made our way inside the well. I was hit with chills, chills of numbing the history, and that happened at the very site a hundred years ago. When investigating location, the group had to throw fruit coins in the well, something Miss Cash tells them to do. He's an irony. Everything is money for him. He was a businessman, Russell said. They pay him, we pay him, throw a couple, two peas down, down there. He always says he hid something down there from his wife. What's down there? We don't know. Russell then pulls. He's here now. After ten years of investigations at Cashwell, the group has pretty, plenty of stories to tell. We can touch our senses here, Russell said. We'll stand, hold our hands and draw the energy in. When, when we had people noses going down the well after being pushed over, we had the whole group pushed out the door. We had people who come here, do not believe us, and got their noses touching the floor. People stand, stand, they're saying, why are my hands moving? They're not, they're trying to push it down, but I can't. Then all their hands are in the air. On the other side, through the bushes, it's a bit sinister. You see a, a light, I see a lot of light in the knees, a lot of psychological, a lot of it psychological, but if you get, a lot of people you, you don't want to stand. They were their backs to the window or the, by the door. There's so no many people burst, burst into tears, he added. When people come on a paranormal investigation or ghost hunt, they're looking for ghosts. They don't, what they want is Casper to come up and shake them by the hand, but that doesn't work. Spirits were very minimally at first. We're all laughing and you're in, and you're, you're in chest, but it's always something you tell me. You feel emotionally and want to cry when I'm going to be thinking a while. Spirit is just tweaking into it. So, how many times people are seeing things in there? People physically moving. You see people stop and look. There's something sometimes too frightened to say because they've been seeing something. A lot of women come with their husbands who come in along with another ride, turn up, girls cross. Good hour into asking the questions. A mind comes interested and you're on the, the train of thought. The sequences are interest intense because they're conducting the energies. It's a bridge that may very rarely go because it's dark, as Sister Russell claimed. Where's the guy who is seven feet tall, stocky, broad? He's the nicest guy you ever spoken to. We took him up to the top of the hill. He got so aggressive. The others were telling me that he did, wasn't right. He'd never spoken to anyone like that. He was cursing and throwing his arms around. He had to turn him around. He wasn't under attack. He was just feeling the energy. He just, he had to talk to him to get him out. And all of a sudden he came back to us. He said, I wanted to kill everyone. You do, do worry. You see his hands. He was all really containing something. Well, the group don't intend to change people's minds. They've been interested in guests have come away with investigation feeling changed. They one bloke who didn't want to know what, who came, who, who wouldn't know who came with his girlfriend. Sarah explained. You get smells in the forest. We got a perfume. We, but we don't wear perfume when we're out. About, and about, we, and about. We had a lot smelled, a lot. We could smell lots. We were convinced that I'd take, got, a, that I got virals in my pocket. A breaking I was fine because it was in his thoughts. We had a spirit board and we found all the sorts of information on him, including his class number, a school and his house that he was in. He had an argument with his girlfriend because he thought she told us everything. Towards the end of the night, he came over to us and gave us a big haircut. 
Beck up saying he's changed his life, and that was heartrending. It's amazing when someone comes, is not interested, goes away with a complete change of view of their lifestyle. According to the group, the energy around Cash as well can change in a blink of an eye. I can't see what we say we have n- n- had any sort of dull nights here, Russell added. With the paranormal, you know, you're never going to prove it. There's always going to be an opposite story to the story. That's not what we do. For, it's a hobby. Henry, who's been in the group for two years, added, we always stay to our guests. You believe in what you want to believe in. We're not here to change your mind. And whether or not you believe or want to change your mind, fascinating experience. Essex Ghost Hunters Investigations